Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a really simple little pumpkin. Let's get started. So I'm using a five by five inch canvas. We're going to be doing a whole series of these little mini canvases this fall. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, our color palette is going to be burnt umber, burnt sienna, quinacridone magenta, pyrrole orange, or you could use cadmium red light or cadmium orange instead, Indian yellow hue, cadmium yellow light, uh, cobalt turquoise, ultramarine blue, unbleached titanium, and titanium white. All right, I haven't done anything to my canvas. I'm just gonna grab a large flat brush. This is a 12 Bright here in the Aspen Princeton line. And I'm going to paint my background with, I think I'm just gonna do blue. We're gonna do these a little bit different colors um, than the norm. And I think blue is gonna look really nice behind all of the oranges. Um, so I'm gonna really quickly just paint that up. Um, we're going to do some mushrooms in another video. We'll, we'll do a little landscape, um, just a bunch of little fun projects. And I think these will make a nice little easy project that you can do um, and set around your house to have a little fall decoration. And you're not investing in such a large canvas that way. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and paint the sides too. And then I will use a hairdryer and dry off my canvas. So I've got that painted up. Let me just hit it with the hair dryer really quick. Alrighty, so now you're gonna to wanna to get some chalk and we're gonna draw out our pumpkin on our canvas here. And the pumpkin that I have is a little bit kinda of squat shaped. So I'm gonna make them a little bit more rounded here. Um, might get a little bit brighter chalk so you can see. So find that center which is just above the halfway mark there and that's our little center and you're going to have these lobes coming off of it. There and then one here that wraps around. One here. really like pink drawing pumpkins. They're pretty easy to draw. Just a lot of fun to paint too. Okay, right there and then like that. Okay, so there's our little pumpkin. And let's get a, um, I'll say, let's get a four round here and we'll start filling in our pumpkin. going to use some magenta and burnt orange or burnt sienna I mean to make a burnt orange color. This is similar to like a quinacridone burnt orange and then I'm going to use some blue ultramarine blue there and make it kind of a purple but it's going to be neutralized because of that burnt sienna in there. Right, and then I'm going to use that to sort of draw out my pumpkin. Get some of this darker color in the cracks of my pumpkin. I'm 
there and there. I'm not going to do it too dark right yet. Something like that. Okay. Clean that out. And I'm going to get some magenta and some orange and make a salmon pink color. I'm going to use that to do most of my pumpkins. So I'm going to use the unbleached titanium that magenta and orange is going to make a really beautiful bright red, kind of reddish peach. And then I can use a little bit of the burnt sienna to tone it down, make it a little bit more neutral. I can use a little bit of burnt umber too for the same thing. Okay, that looks good. It's kind of the tone that I'm going for right there. Let's use a little bit of that next to our dark colors and kind of in the shadowy areas. Just here and there. It doesn't have to be too much of this. Just kind of trying to establish some of our darker values in our pumpkin here. And I'm not trying to cover up all of my blue either, so in places I'm kind of leaving a little bit of that blue showing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Wipe that out. And then I'm going to get the Indian yellow hue. I'm going to mix that with this red color that I have. And then we'll use that. And if it's a little too transparent, it seems like it's not covering that blue very well, I'm going to add a little bit of white to it, and that'll make it cover better. Let's see, I'm just kind of Letting the brush create some streaks and interesting marks. I'm not trying to blend out anything in particular, just kind of making it kind of a painterly looking pumpkin here. And then getting a little bit more yellow. So each time I'm adding a little bit more yellow. And just a little bit of white to make it cover. Okay. You can see we've got something going on now. And then I'm going to grab my turquoise color, my cobalt teal, and a little bit of the ultramarine blue. Make a light blue green. I had some yellow in my brush still, so it was kind of tinting it. And some white. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. There we go. this I'm going to use in all the rest of the little areas that are open here. I add a little bit of white and a little bit brighter turquoise color. There we go. That pretty. Again, not trying to cover up anything in particular, just you know, just adding little brush strokes here and there. 
give it a little character. Okay. Get a little bit of blue. Do a little bit more blue down here. Wipe that off. Get some of my red. Blend that in. Okay, I like that. Let's add a little highlight in the center of our pumpkin. So I'm going to get some of the turquoise and my burnt, I'm sorry, my unbleached titanium. And kind of where all these come in right here, I'm going to just lighten up that area right there. Right where the stem is going to be coming down. wiped out most of that color but I've got a little bit on my brush I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit into some of these areas add a little highlight look at my picture and see where the highlights are on my pumpkin seeing some back here And if you don't want these colors, you can always just use oranges and yellows. I'm kind of playing with the colors and adding these blues, but um, it's just an artistic choice. You can do whatever makes you happy. Add a little bit more of the bright orange right in here. Get a little bit of that darker magenta. Put that back in right there. Let's go ahead and paint our background. Let me get a little bit bigger brush here. This is the six Sprite. And I'm going to use the unbleached titanium and my white and a little bit of yellow involved too. I'm going to leave a little bit of the blue kind of peeking out around my pumpkin and might use a little bit more of that yellow. There we go. So you can see kind of how I'm leaving a little bit of that blue showing through. This is where you can kind of clean up any edges if you didn't like what you did somewhere on your pumpkin or got outside your lines or whatever. You can edit the shape of it.
Okay, now we can use a little bit of this color on our pumpkin. Just dabbing little bits of highlight on here. use a little bit of the brighter yellow. Maybe a little bit of that orange added. There we go. get some yellow and my salmon color here make kind of that medium toned orange add some more of that in I think I'm pretty happy with that color. It's very colorful, obviously. A lot of fun. Let's get a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of my ultramarine blue, maybe a little bit of the cobalt teal, make kind of a light blue gray color. And I'm going to make the stem of my pumpkin here. and then get some white and run some lines through it while it's wet and then I can use some just the tip of my brush to do some little curly cues off of it ultramarine blue and just put that in around the base of it.
adding some of the light color to my orange here. I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. Lighten it up in a couple places. And you'll just have to decide on yours. If you have a lot of areas that are too dark, you can add more light. If you have a lot of areas that are too light, you can add more dark. So just whatever you've got in yours. It can help to take a photograph of it and look at it um, in a photograph to see in black and white what yours looks like as far as like, you know, your values and things, how dark certain areas are in mine. My photograph, the dark areas right here is really pretty dark. So you might get a little bit more of my blue and just add that in that area, just, just blue. Clean out my brush really well and just add a little bit. It was a little bit watery. My brush being watered, wet down. There we go. Okay, and then I think I might add just a little shadow underneath my pumpkin. So let's get a little bit of maybe my magenta and blue, and we'll do like a kind of a light purpley shadow underneath him. Just a little bit. Just kind of dry brushing. You can use your finger to kind of brush it out there a little bit if you want. All right, there's our little pumpkin, part one of our little series that we're going to be doing. Um, I think I'll sign it on the side here, and I think I might leave the sides blue. I, I kind of, I don't know. Well, no, maybe I'll paint them. I'll paint them really quick. But kind of paint them sort of sloppy so that a little bit of that blue shows through just like we did the top part. And if you don't like the blue, you can always just paint it solid white or whatever, whatever color you prefer. Um, I find that a color that is sort of opposite on the color wheel looks um, good usually with, um, so like blue and orange being an opposite on the color wheel, they're a nice complement to each other complementary colors. They look well to each with each other and the blue makes the orange look brighter, more vivid up against it. Of course we kept our colors a little bit muted in this one so they're not super bright anywhere anyways but I don't know it's just fun I think. I like that energy that that blue, that little touch of blue gives to the orange in our pumpkin. Um, I do see one spot right in here that I think I want to brighten up. So I'm going to get a little bit of my white and maybe a little bit of yellow. And just do just a couple little spots of like really bright highlight on the pumpkin. All right, there we go. Nice. Here is he's super cute. Super cute. Um, I could see doing a whole series of these in different colors even, you know, so um, hopefully this gave you some ideas and hope you try it. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time. Bye.